Okay. Hi, well what we're going to do um, is look at the basic components of a spill kit. Now the important thing here is that only trained person personnel should use this and if it was a really serious spill um, you'd, you'd have to call out the emergency services. Um, we don't want to put anyone in danger so training's paramount uh, and operator safety. Okay, so the first thing is here we've got a cone. Uh, these are pretty obvious, it's for creating a barrier, so you put these on the floor uh, just to cordon off any spillages and stop any unwanted personnel entering the, um, the spillage area. Uh, we've got small ones here, we've also got this, this large object, um, if we need something a bit more serious. Um, so there's variety there uh, of things that we can actually use. Obviously if we get a spill and we're using the cones, we do need to also sign the area as well. Now what we would do is use something like this. Um, it's, it's what it says, danger, hazardous area. Now that is going to warn other people that it is obviously it's a dangerous area um, and only people dealing with the spillage should enter that area and other people should stay away. Okay, well the next component is we need to look at the absorbent materials we've got in case we spill something and we need to absorb it. The very simple things are these. Um, these are just absorbent mats that you would just put down on a small spillage, uh, if it was on a tabletop or very, something very small on the floor. We've actually got these things, these sausage type things or booms as they're called. Now what you would do is simply just wrap it round the spillage. So if it's like that, the spillage would be contained sort of here. Now that's suitable for a very small one or for going in front of a drain. But we do actually have uh, these large things here these large, very large sausage type, which are about three metres long. Um, we've actually got about six of these that we can wrap around, a, you know, obviously a lot larger spill. Um, and these are very absorbent and they will take up a lot of liquid. Right, we'll just look at the last absorbent that we've got now. Um, we actually buy this in, I think it's 30 litre bags. Um, and it's actually this, this type here that we use. Um, the one we have it's called Spill Aid. It's not an advertisement, it's just the one that we buy. Um, now this particular absorbent uh, is really really good and it's got a high capacity. So if we, if we were to, it, this, this bag itself would probably absorb a couple of hundred litres of liquid. Now it's suitable for most things that we have. The only thing we can't use it for is what they call hydrofluoric acid. Um, so we'd have to use another absorbent, but anything else, this can be used for acids, solvents, alkalis. It really is a good general purpose absorbent. This is quite simply, um, it's a rubber mat, and what it is, it's actually a drain cover. Now what you would do, um, if there's liquid, we've spilt it near a drain, we don't want it to enter the drain. Quite simply, we would fold this out, I think it's about a metre square, and it goes quite simply over the drain um, and hopefully that will prevent any liquid going into the drains. So again another useful piece of equipment. In the event of a leaky drum or another container um, we may actually have to contain it best we can. Um, so what we can do is we have this stuff here, I mean this is called damn it, but you can you can get other you know there's, a, there's other people who will, who will give you this stuff, it doesn't have to be damn it. But what it is, it's basically a putty. Now if your container's leaking, for example, if, if you caught it with a forklift truck, you've got to stop the liquid from coming out. So what, what we need to do is to actually take this out and you slap it onto the side of the drum and it does form a seal for up to 24 hours. But obviously um, operator safety is, very, is paramount. So they obviously need to have the correct PPE if they're going to put this onto something that's hazardous. But it's quite simple, take it out, put it on the side of the container and it will last for up to 24 hours.